Hey guys, how you doing? It's Rhino here today with another stream. Give me a second while I do a little uh little promoting just to get the get the word out. Make sure things connected to yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, let's see. So one news is that they're going to remake Max Payne and Max Payne 2. Funny, no Max Payne 3. Uh, depends on this studio. At least it's not Grove Street Games. It's uh, Remedy Studios, but I've never heard of that studio either. So who knows how that's going to turn out. But apparently they're going to remake Max Payne 1 and 2. So hopefully uh, they do better than the Definitive Edition. But uh, there is no confidence right now. And I don't know this company to even uh, say any judgment on them. So... Don't know. Don't know if it'll be good. Don't know if it'll be bad. We'll have to wait and see. I do like Max Payne. Max Payne 3 was the best one, though. I don't know why they're not remaking the best one, but, you know, it's their decision. Oh, here, you know what? While we're waiting, put a little music on there. All right, I think that's enough promotion for now. Let me just get uh, Twitch on, on board and we can get started. Let's see. Uh, and then this is Tez. This is the news uh, about Max Payne 1 and 2. Let's see what he has. Well, it's not his tweet. It's a retweet. So it's supposed to be standalone title 1 and 2. Like I said, I don't know why they don't add 3 since it's the best one, but okay. Developed for PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, PC using the Northlight engine, the one that's used for control. Budget has the same size as a typical Remedy AAA production. Um, okay, like I said, I don't know Remedy. Did they make Control? If they make Control, then okay, they're in, they're in decent hands. Control was a good game. Uh, financed by Rockstar Games. Okay, that's what worries me. How much are they actually investing in this game? Because seeing how they invested in their like more popular games, the, the GTA games, seeing how they really did the bare minimum and putting in money for that, uh, there's no hope that they're going to put much money into this one because this is even less of a... 
This is less, even less of a money maker. Though people do have fondness for Max Payne, but not as much as GTA. And they didn't give a crap about giving much money for GTA because they gave it to a team of 26 people to make the remakes. And you know how that turned out. And let's see. Uh, currently at concept development stage. So it's going to be a while. Concept means that they're just planning out stuff. So we're not we're looking for maybe a year two years i mean it is a remake or a yeah remake so it's gonna take it's gonna be at least a couple of years so we'll see like i said i'd rather have them seem three three is a good game the best game but we'll see all right so we're, we'll do that by that later right now i want i feel like playing an arcade game so we're gonna go to my good friend retro arch here and let me load what was it d or e i forgot which one it was ah, okay there's this one give me a second just to load up the game uh oh, there you go. Okay, I thought it froze for a second there. Net play will start when content is loaded. Well, I'm not doing any net play. Uh, where is it here? It's got I got a bunch of files in here, so it takes a second. We're looking for Konami. Why am I not using my controller? What's wrong with me? Faster. Uh, wait. What am I doing? Oh no, no, no. What I don't even know what that game that is. DBZ. It's probably um. I don't know what that game that is. Let's see, uh, load archive loaded with Barber Neo. There you go. Hey, what's up, Top? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. We'll be doing some uh, Dead by. I mean, right now I'm gonna do the Simpsons Arcade. It's an, like, another arcade game from my teen years. Uh, actually, no, this was even. I was even younger than. I would think I was like ten years old. Um, yeah, about Bart's age, ten years old. Yeah. This is like during season one, season two, so you won't see a lot of them, like the more popular characters, except for the Simpsons. You'll see Mr. Burns, you'll see, um, like, you'll see them right there, that's it. I think, um, uh, what's his name? You'll see, um, I forgot the fat kid's name, and then Principal Skinner. They're around, but they're not really, like, characters in the game. Um, you'll see a bunch of, like, of the, of Matt Groening's, um, sketches, which is, like, the bunnies and some of the, like, the, the, the generic villains that you play in the game. Dead by Daylight's a good game, Ada. What's wrong with you? So, like I said, it's basically just generic Boston. So you will see some cameos in and here and here. But like I said, this is like during the first couple of years of The Simpsons and when they were actually good. But none of the major characters play a part in the game on, outside of um, Mr. Burns and uh, Smithers. So, let's go ahead and get started. Do I have to be March? Yeah, I guess I have to be March to start. <laughs> I think I can search characters in between. Hopefully, I don't stick as March. The premise of this game is that uh, for some reason, Smithers is uh, stealing a, a jewelry store for a diamond, and then uh, Maggie accidentally ends up with the diamond, so they steal Maggie. Okay, here's jump. A very simple game is just jump and attack. I wish I had more. Um, I wish there was you could play other people because actually the the tag teaming you could do with the other Simpson characters are pretty good in this game. Like there's Smithers. I forgot the kid's name. I haven't watched the Simpsons in years. I mean, I know I, I'm thinking they're still around. But I haven't watched anything of The Simpsons in a long, long time. And if I watch The Simpsons, it's the oldest, the older shows. Nothing new. They haven't been good in a long time, but they're still around from what I knew. I'm guessing. Exactly, me neither. I haven't seen them in years. But I do have fond memories of the arcade game, though. I think if you hit tree to get stuff. There you go. Unfortunately, the, the a character in the bosses are kind of... Ah, oh, crap. Sorry about that. Work rules apply. And here's the first boss. Some generic... Uh, Rustling looking good. Oh, 
I thought you could hit him when he was on the floor. Like unfortunately, uh, you won't like won't see many other characters. You'll, you'll see cameo. I think Mo makes a cameo, Barney makes a cameo, but they don't stick around. They're not characters you fight with or anything. You just fight a crusty ball later on, I think. Oh shit! That was a this fat ass landed on me. There you go. That wasn't so bad. What if you're better than the one who bullied everyone? That's Nelson. I know that's Nelson, but I forgot who the smart fat kid is. But I remember Nelson. There's Smithers. I know the final boss is Mr. Burns. Oh, I forgot about these. I remember doing these in the arcade. I would just like hit them, hit the buttons like crazy. Pretty much the same thing here. There you go. Now, and, and if you were in the arcades and you play with four players, then every, it'd be every Simpson character there. Krusty then. There it is, Krusty. Of course, I doubt it's a real Krusty. Probably one of his employees watch. Yep, there is. <laughs> Never seen that baby in the background before, I don't know. From what episode that is. Oh, here's what's his name? Ah, I wasted that. Otto! There you go. I remember. And here's the psychiatrist. I forgot his name. I guess I'm gonna be more the rest of the way. Oh, because this is the four-player version. If I was playing the two-player version, I could switch characters. Oh, wait. Give me that. There we go. Thank you. Get out of here. Ow. There we go. In the tree. There we go. Oh! How dare you! Oh, stupid gorilla hit me. I'm trying to get the, uh, trying to get the soda can. Yeah, that gorilla hit you. That was the bear. Gotta be careful. You missed. What did I think of WrestleMania? WrestleMania was actually better than I thought. But night one was better than night two. I really enjoyed night one more. Um, the the main event night one, of course, Stone Cold. I did not expect Stone Cold to wrestle. I was shocked that he wrestled. Cause the uh, you know it's been 19 years and he's had a bad back and stuff for years. So to see him wrestle was was uh, surprising. But it was fun too. He didn't do much and he was slower. But I don't know if you noticed that the more beer he drank, the better he got. <laughs> I noticed that, like, he, he was slow in the beginning, but as soon as he started drinking those beers, it's like he he he, he started turning it on. He started he, he, he turned it on. He he got to another level. He started wrestling a lot better. Like his punches got quicker and his kicks got quicker. And of course, he took that bump out outside or that super the suplex outside, which surprised me. I didn't think he'd take any major bumps. But that was a fun match, and Kevin Owens was the perfect opponent for him. Yeah, the main event was ass. I didn't like I, that. Was the thing we were all expecting to see? Supposedly the greatest WrestleMania match ever, right? And it wasn't. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't. I've, I've seen Brock and uh, Roman do better. I think I used that. Yeah, Somebody can use that weapon. Oh, here's the crusty balloon. Oh crap! I lost my cat. So yeah, night one was was very good. Oh, shit. Hold on.
Alright, here we go. Oh, shoot. So, yeah, let me see. One of the matches that I like. I like the Becky and Bianca match. That was good. Um, I'm glad that Bianca won. I would I would have been uh, shocked if uh, if Becky won. I think the story well, the story was for Bianca to win, so that made sense. Uh, what other matches did I like? Uh, the, um, this was night two, but the Edge and the AJ Styles match was pretty good. It was very good. But I think uh, they can do better than what they did. It was good, but it, it wasn't great. It wasn't like... They didn't go all out like I thought they would for a WrestleMania match, but I think they're going to continue their story, so that's probably why they didn't uh, they didn't go all out. But they, it was a good match, but I, I know they can do better. I know they could really, like, if they really want to, they could really bring it, both for Edge and uh, AJ. You know what? I saw that, that Ronda match in uh, Charlotte, and I didn't... I, I still I still think Ronda is very rusty. I, I, still, I don't think she's working hard to, to improve. Like she did last time she was on there. Like when she was wrestling that WrestleMania match with a Kurt Angle, that was a different Ronda than the one we saw at this WrestleMania. I just don't think she wants to put in any effort. So the, her matches don't, just aren't as good. Ah, crap. I thought the also the um, the awesome theory and the Pat McAfee match. I thought that was entertaining for what it was, and I was shocked to see Mr. Man in the ring too. But he didn't do anything, so that's not that surprising. The only thing we did was he took an awful stunner, the probably the even worse than the other ones he's taken before. Like that must have been the ugliest stunner I've ever seen anybody ever take in the history of Austin delivering that move. And then yeah, the Cody and uh, the Cody match was good too with uh, Seth Rollins. Like the worst, the worst surprise ever, because everybody knew it was gonna be Cody. They should have at least um, picked us out and fought somebody in first, and then had Cody come out. But nope, they just had Cody come out right away. We knew it was gonna be. Everybody knew it was gonna be Cody. Like I said, that night, that surprise was not that it was gonna be Cody. The surprise was that Austin wrestled, which was a big surprise to me. That comes in handy. It's not very strong though. There we go. Yeah, well he still like exercises like a madman. That's I think that's all he does is exercise. Because he doesn't watch TV, he doesn't go out. All he does is like exercise and run WWE. So that's why he's Jack. Even at seven no, he's 76, he's not 73. He's 76 years old, man. I wish I looked that good when I was 76. I wish I looked that good now. <laughs> but he's, he, he, physically he looks jacked, but like to move in the ring and stuff, he can't anymore. I mean, just looking at that stunner, it's kind of, it was kind of sad to see him take that, not even be able to take that stunner like well. I don't think it's such a difficult move to take. The one that looked good taking it though was Austin Theory. I loved his little like little jump when he took it. Ow. And you know the thing I gotta check out too, because I saw Samoa went to AEW. I gotta see that match with Max Hester later. What's this? Oh shit! Oh, that guy's screwed. No, I, dude, I just say I wish I when I'm no, I wish I wish I could I was buffed then like them like I was buffed now, but I'm unfortunately I'm not. I got a pants on me. Well, a lot of a lot of a lot of Vince is genetics too, so it has to be. But he does look his age, though. He does look every bit of that seventy-six, facially. Get off me! Oh, that's the other match too. You know what? I I thought I didn't think. Um, Paul Logan would look that good. I think he even wrestled better than Bad Bunny. I'm surprised that he took it seriously. But we all wanted to see him get beat up, and everybody cheered when the Miz uh, turned on him, so. Oh, I finally get to fight these two.
These guys aren't difficult. Oh, I think they're mid bosses. The big guy is the tougher one. I can just get him in the corner over here. Oh shoot! Oh, big guy's done. He is hell easy. I thought the big guy was tougher. I guess not. Oh, because he's jumping all over the place. Let's get one registering. I see. Yeah, it should, it should be Miz versus Logan, and I hope it is. Because, yeah, but I don't know when Logan and Paul's gonna come back to wrestle. I could see that, I could see that being a SummerSlam match. Like, I could see him coming back for that. He's not coming back anytime soon. Hey, for, for SummerSlam, I could see it, though. I don't think they're gonna wait all the way till next WrestleMania. Even though the next WrestleMania is in LA. It would make sense for Logan Paul to show up in LA, but I don't think they're gonna wait a whole year. <laughs> hey, Manix, how you doing, buddy? Thank you for watching, man. I know it's uh, it's tough for you, but you know, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, there's Mo and Bernie. Oh, they don't do anything, though. Ow! I think Mo gives me drinks every once in a while. Ow! 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 Stop throwing your damn head at me! There we go. Actually, no, I think he's threatening me with that bottle. So what did you, Maddox, did you watch Wrestlemania? What do you think? We're waiting for him to put Ronda and Becky. Oh yeah, we gotta wait, we gotta wait till next year for Ronda and Becky. But let's see how much effort Be uh, Ronda's gonna put into it. Maybe she'll be more pumped to take on Becky, since that's probably gonna be the better match. Or Becky's gonna carry her to a good match. What's this guy doing? Get out of here. Oh, Bleeding Guns Murphy. I forgot about this guy, he died early on. I don't remember him that well. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. for ADOT, but it's like 1 o'clock for me and the Manix because we're both on the West Coast. You know what? Wait, now that I think about Manix, this should be entertaining for you because you're like a security card at, in the graveyard shift. There's like nothing for you to do unless if somebody breaks in. Ow! Stupid mop guy. Get out of here. Well, that's true too. You're right. They, they did let him. I'm surprised they let him use the song, but I think he owns it. So now that must have been one of the conditions for him to come back. And let me use my stuff. Who's this guy? I don't know who this guy even is. They, they, they used some generic characters. I, they may have used them in the cartoon, but I don't remember who it is. That's the only thing I didn't like about the arcade. They didn't really use a lot of the actual characters, except for little cameos here and there. Like, this should have been Barney. We should have been fighting Barney. Because we're in the bar. Hey, what's up, TJ? How you doing, buddy? WrestleMania 29? What was WrestleMania 29's main event? Remind me, I forgot. Wasn't it Brock and Roman too? Or was that? No, that's in the 30s. It's like 33 or 32, somewhere around there. There we go. 
Remind me what the main event was at WrestleMania 29. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm drawing a blank right now. Can you do my job? Your new favorite song? Well, that's a good song. Ow! You're the generic guys doing your generic drop kicks. Whoa! Shoot! Grabbing that rock made that guy <laughs> throw the bigger rock at me. Wait a minute, that's not a bear? What the hell is that? Looks like Homer. Looks like Angry Homer. Angry Harry Homer. Oh shit, bees. Can use this guy. Sounds the bees. The Rock vs. Cena? The first one or the second one? I didn't actually like either one. If you want to talk about the best WrestleManias, you gotta go farther back. Like WrestleMania um, like 14 with Austin and Shawn Michaels, and then uh, the next year with The Rock and Austin. But I think 17 was better for Rock and Austin. Give me that. Get out of here, Nelson. Nobody likes you. Ah! Damn big guy with a panza. Get out of here. Anything pre PG, yeah, exactly. My best WrestleMania ever was 17. That's hands down, in my opinion. Like, every match in that in WrestleMania was good. Even the Jobber uh, matches were pretty good. Well, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing you probably weren't born for those. You're right. But you should watch them though, they're very good. Oh shit, I fight a bear? Holy shit, I forgot about this boss. Even watch like the older, older ones, like the old school WrestleManias. Like watch Hogan and Andre. Even though the match is not very good, the just the crowd reactions to the to those two guys is awesome. Same thing for when The Rock fought Hogan. Just for the crowd reaction, the match, the, ma that match is pretty good though. But the the crowd reactions were awesome in those matches. And if you're watching WrestleMania 3, definitely watch uh, Steamboat and Randy Savage. That was a good match. For an old school match, that was a very good match. Come on, Bear, die already. Yeah, that's just a, that was just a sell ticket, and it was not near, it was not even close to the best WrestleMania match ever. You were 11 when 17 happened? Damn, I feel old now. I think I was in my 20s. No, I think I was 18, 19. When I saw WrestleMania 17 live. On pay-per-view. I was just as shocked as everybody when Austin turned on uh, Shook, when Shook, when he shook Vince's hand. This is a weird ass level. This is like Marge's unconscious. 
But the donuts, they're related to Homer. I don't know why she's dreaming about them. Yeah, I can use it. Take that. Alright, that's kind of freaky. I don't think I'm going to fight him, though. Okay, saxophone left for Lisa. Get over here, saxophone. There we go. Oh yeah, Bruno Star Martin, man, those are really old school matches. I've seen those, but those, uh... What? Bruno is fighting Tyler's birthday lunch and dinner? What? <laughs> you know, but those, those San Martino matches, you gotta be a little more patient with those, because those were like when they took the wrestling a little more seriously. It's not as much of a spectacle as it is now, or even when the, in the Hogan era. Like, it's more, like, San Martino's time, it was more technical. Hey, what's up, Jay? Look how you doing, buddy. Like, um, if you're talking about those, like, those late 70s matches and stuff like that, those, the better time to watch those matches was when you were watching Ric Flair and Dusty Rhodes. Because they they brought a lot of character to their matches. San Martino was a very good wrestler, but he wasn't a good, like, um, a good promo guy. He was just a very, very good wrestler. Very technical wrestler. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be like a bowling ball. But again, also related to Homer. Damn, he's, really, he's just letting me beat him up. <laughs> Ow. Okay, there we go. Now he hit me. Just gotta avoid him landing. Oh, well, TJ, I don't know how well that's gonna play, but okay, let's see how it plays. Because I am at work. There we go. No, not yet. Thought I had him already. Damn, those missiles do nothing. He's just letting me beat him up. Okay, I think this this tentacle hand is actually gonna make give me a fight, but maybe not. He's not even hitting me. Well, it hit me now. All right, I don't remember this boss being so damn easy. He was a pain in the ass when I played him, but I guess here it's nothing. Just a broken bowling ball. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess you like the more technical matches. I, I don't mind them either. The technical matches are good. But with the 70s and 80s matches, there was a lot of, like, posturing and, like, uh, and a lot of rest holds and stuff. Hey, and they, they exist today, though, too. I mean, Randy Orton's made a habit of doing that, too. So here we gotta wake the souls up. Wake up, March. Wake up. There you go. Follow H. What is that, TJ? Ada has. Oh, let's see who's following. I see. Why do you think her lives are pre recorded? I don't know. I don't think they ever are. Unless she states they are. I know some people do their ASMRs and they're recorded. I'm like, what's the point? The point is the interaction. If you're going to do a stream, do a live stream, not, not a pre recorded stream.
Ah, oh, shit! I got caught by the door. PH having technical issues? Who's having technical issues? What did you mean, TJ? Ah, damn it, sliding guy. Get out of here. I hear mop guy. Ah, oh, crap. What the heck is this? Oh, I can throw this, okay. Ow. Damn, this boss is harder than the bowling ball. It's not even a boss, it's a mid fight. There we go. <laughs> SC hates TJ, huh? What, what does he have? Oh, what he, oh, that thing is broken. It might be the internet. But, you know, it's not the best internet here for, for doing more than one thing. Like, I can play the game and I can stream, but anything after that, it might be a little difficult. Ow, what the hell? When did these guys get combo hits? Get out of here. So what do you guys think about the Rockstar announced? Well, not Rockstar, they didn't announce it. It was Remedy who announced uh, Max Payne 1 and 2. I, I played all three. I think three was the better game, but uh, I, I, I'm interested to see how the remakes are going to turn out. But it, it, they're being financed by Rockstar, which already worries me, because we saw how much they financed the trilogy, the original, the definitive edition. So they don't throw a lot of money into this, and it's not going to be that good. Get out of here, ninjas. Nobody likes you. Ow. You never played the Max Game games? They're fun, especially three. That's where uh that's where bullet time came from. From the you know how the Matrix did that bullet time thing? It, it actually came from Max Payne. Damn, how many ninjas am I gonna fight here? I never even seen these ninjas in the cartoon. I tell you, a lot of these, a lot of these um fights are just made for the game. What the heck is this? Ow. You created the account four years ago, but you just now use it? Okay. You were probably watching those hot tub streams four years ago. And now that we're all moved to Twitch, you're, all, you're using it more now. How did he catch me with that? Don't worry, you're almost dead. You're almost dead, you're almost dead. 
to watch. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but play Fortnite. Wow, Ayo Fortnite. Which, by the way, Ada, how's Ada, how's Fortnite like now that you don't build anymore, or at least uh, you you weren't building? I don't know. It's a, somebody told me that you guys stopped using the building mechanic, but then it came back. Wow, Ada's one day watching me. Thank you, Ada. Jeez, one full day, twenty four hours. And TJ seventeen. Thank you, TJ. All right, here we go. I think we're going to the last level now. Yeah, the power plant. This is the last level. I don't watch TikTok actually. I don't. I've never watched TikTok. All right, let's get Maggie back. There you go. Welcome to my world. This is it. If we fight Smithers, then we fight Mr. Burns. And Mr. Burns is the more interesting fight. They really made it Smithers just into like a generic bad guy in this game. Trying to grab the bombs, but they go off. Or see, he smacks me before I have a chance to throw it. Stop hiding in the corner. The good thing is March has their reach with that vacuum. The point is to avoid the black ones, the black ones blow up right away. The blue ones you could actually grab and throw. Ow. <laughs> oh, bastard. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why I don't watch TikTok. One thing is because the videos are kind of stupid. Some of the videos that they even post on YouTube afterward, I've seen a couple of them. They're just dumb. Sometimes they don't even make sense. It's just a bunch of dumb kids doing dumb shit. So it does, that's not interesting to me. If I want to do, I want to see dumb, see dumb kids do dumb shit. I'll just watch outside of my window. I see some of my nephews do their shit, and then I yell at them for being dumb. And then I also heard the app is like uh, from China or Russia. I don't know. It's supposed to be like some sort of uh, spyware. So I, I, I never, I never even downloaded it because of that. Come on, Smither. Jeez, You're running around so much. Stop smacking with your cape. Uh oh, he's about to blow up. <laughs> Here we go. Now here's here's the main the main event right here. Don't forget to insert coin. I think I got enough lives. I could beat I could beat Burns with 29. But I got some extra quarters right here just in case. Oh the nuclear the, I forgot he drops nuke he drops nukes on you. Am I watching a Dumbledore movie? What is the Dumbledore movie? Is that the... Um, is that related to... What's his name? Um, uh, what's it called? What is the Dumbledore movie? I don't know what that is. Alright, here we go. First piece breaks off. I get a ton of free hits just by standing by. 
He still drops nukes though. I gotta be careful. I think those nukes are one hit kills. Fortunately, it's very easy to avoid them. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was gonna say Harry Potter, but I couldn't. I couldn't get the name. All right, here comes again. I don't really watch Harry Potter. The one that's a big, uh, big time Harry Potter fan is my sister. She's way into Harry Potter. Right? I've never really watched the movies. But my sister has every movie. I think she has some of the books too. Oh shit, he's laser too. Harry Potter's in the movie? I'm sure my sister will watch it. I'm sure she'll probably drag me and watch it with her. About the childhood, and I think she became who he is. Okay. So it's like a prequel then, right? Damn, this guy takes a lot of life. Okay, he's still there. Damn. I've destroyed like 80% of his body, but he's still going. I don't think he drops nukes. Any oh, no, he can. Actually, he can drop more nukes now. Damn. Yeah, I know. My sister probably say the same thing. She she watched all the time when she was younger, and she even when she in her mid to late twenties, she kept watching all the movies and reading the books. I don't think she has all the books though, but I know she got all the movies because she got that big ass uh, uh, collection that had all the movies. She bought it like two years ago. It cost her like a hundred dollars. I don't mind Harry Potter. I've been I've been to um, the Universal uh, Studios ride. It's pretty good. I just never seen. I never just took. I never took an interest in the movies. I don't think they're bad or anything. I just not. Uh, I don't. Know, I just never watched them. They never grabbed me for some reason. Come on, Burns. Jeez. Oh, I think he's dead already. There we go. Okay, got him. Finally. There we go. He looks huge in this game. He's like twice the size of Marge. Hair and all. The movies give you more knowledge than the books. Well, I'll, I'll take your word for it because, like I said, I've never seen the, never seen, I've never read the books or seen much of a lot of the movies. I think I've seen one movie like halfway. Uh, the Cauldron of uh, something something. I forgot the name of the movie. It's like movie three or four. Something about a cauldron, and they pull names out of the cauldron, and I don't know what they're, they're supposed to do something. I don't know. I forgot. I didn't, I didn't really watch the movie all the way, so I didn't pay attention. Like I said, it didn't grab me. Creed. Now, Creed 3. That's going to be a good movie that I want to watch. The other thing that, uh, that about Creed 3 is that Rock is no longer in it, but I think um, I think Michael B. Jordan can carry that movie. It'll still be a good movie. I just need to readjust. I don't know what's wrong with my back today. I've had, I've had some lower back pain since uh, yesterday. Uh, it's hard to get comfortable. So that was The Simpsons uh, arcade game. I'm surprised they never followed up and made another one. This one was so much fun. I just wish they'd added more characters. Instead of them just being cameos. You know, Konami was actually a game developer and not a pachinko game developer. I don't know if this will record, but in case it does. <laughs> Go to the chiropractor and cry and eat too much? Yeah, I think I need to make another appointment. All right, I'm not I'm not playing the game again. I'm done. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to Dead by Daylight. I don't think. Um, Tez has posted yet, so let's just start gaming. Let's go to DVD. Hey, Maddox. Oh, and you're probably working. 
I was gonna say if you want to join in, because actually this is this is the game that's crossplay, so I could play with anybody here as long as I know their uh, their names on the accounts. I think Doctor Strange is gonna be just as uh, newsworthy as uh, Spider Man was. They're gonna do a lot in there to um to like uh, expand on the uh, multiverse. Don't be surprised to see like I know you already know that Xavier is gonna be in there, Charles Xavier. So who knows what else they're gonna pull out there? There's a rumor that um. I think I mentioned this last time, but there's a rumor that um that there's, that Superior Iron Man is going to be in there too, and it's going to be played by Tom Cruise instead of uh, what's his name? You're not home. That's all right, dude. Oh, let me watch this cutscene. This is new. This is from uh, the Ring. This is the, this is the new monster. Well, you might not like. I I liked it. I liked it because I I um, I enjoyed the older movies, though, especially the Tobey Maguire movies. So seeing those characters come back was uh, was nostalgic for me. Maybe it wasn't for you, Ada, because you probably didn't see those movies, but it was for me. So that's what that's what made it better. But yeah, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with Doctor Strange though. And there's gonna be more more newsworthy stuff. Like there's gonna be more characters showing up from uh, maybe even uh, maybe they'll even bring uh. The Fantastic Four. Robert Downing Jr. There, thank you, Dave. I'm drawing blanks here. I don't know. My brain doesn't work as well at night. Good thing I just answered phones. Yeah, and they also have to expand on the Loki stuff because I the the main boss for this new phase is gonna be him. Uh, what's his name? Remind me of his name, you know, now I'm drawing a blank on the name of the bad guy. In, the bad guy from Loki, the guy at the end. What's his name? Kane the Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror. I remembered. I, my brain turned on there. Kang the Conqueror. He's going to be the bad guy for Phase 4. Because now, remember what he said at the end of Loki. Spoilers, by the way. At the end of Loki, he said either you guys take over or I just start over again and stronger than ever. And since they killed him there... He's he's not starting over, and now he's gonna be stronger than ever. It might be another variant that takes over, the one that's more, uh, not as nice and more dominant. So, hey, thank you, Kang, Kang the Conqueror. All right, let's let's grind for some blood points. Cause I, this Dwight is level one, and he's got nothing. I only, I only have fifteen thousand blood points with this guy. Is anybody online? Let's see. Uh, no, they're all everybody's offline. So let's just let's just uh, let's just look for a random match. The one thing I'm wondering about Doctor Strange is who the the bad guy the the other bad guy that showed up in the trailer. Uh, Shuma, if that's Shuma Goroff or is that Gargantos? Because there's a difference between the two of them. Like Gargantos is just like a, a an extension of Shuma Goroff, but Shuma Goroff is supposed to be like a, a next dimension level like bad guy. He also said he made the timeline to separate all the other Kangs from the Strange. Yeah, that's right. Because all the other um, Kangs wanted to dominate the, the multiverse. And so that's why he made it that way. Like, he, that's why he separated the timelines. That's why he made that time variance agency, whatever it's called, to, to keep one timeline so that he's in control. But now that it's all out of whack, who knows what Kang's going to come up and uh, take over. It might be a... a it's probably going to be a really bad one, so... And I think we're going to start getting hints of that in, in the Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. You know what? You mentioned Amazing 1 and 2. I liked 1 and 2, actually. Just, uh... I, and 2, I, I just don't know where they were going with the, with the Sinister Stick. They could have done that better. Like, uh, setting up the Sinister Six. I think they still needed to introduce the other character. I think they were rushing into it, and then they didn't go anywhere because they, Spider Man 2 didn't, Amazing 2 didn't do so well.
Oh, you know what? Mordo might show up in this movie, though. Uh, it's kind of messed up. More, I kind of think it's messed up what Mortal did at the end. You know, that guy was just... Um, I don't know if you remember the end of the first Doctor Strange movie. That guy that uh, was playing basketball and stuff, like he was like a paraplegic or something or he couldn't move. The only reason he was siphoning that power was to uh, to just be normal. And Mortal was like, no, you can't be normal. You got to be you. So he just made him a cripple again. I thought that was pretty sad. The dude wasn't messing with anybody. He wasn't like using it for evil or anything. He just wanted to be a normal guy. And Mortal was like, nope, taking it away from you. And who knows what part Mordo's gonna play in the next Doctor Strange movie? If he's a bad guy, I don't. It, it doesn't make sense because uh, you know, with the multiverse and stuff, he might be a variant. You don't know. We'll see when we see the movie. Because now variants are in play. You never know what kind of uh, what kind of character you're gonna see. All right, let's start with this. Oh, crap! I still have that problem. Let's, let's see if uh, the killer notices, since the other person is just standing there. Oh, fuck. He did notice. Here, I'll let him kill her. Since she's not moving for some reason. Where is he? Okay, he's there. Okay, he doesn't know I'm here. I gotta stop messing up, though. That's her fault for just standing there. Going AFK in the middle of a match. No, that's true. There are too many sorcerers. That's true. I don't know. Let's see where they go with Mortal. It's going to be interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, I missed that check rate. Just as I was coming back. Here. Okay, killer's not that far, so. Damn, I gotta get better on these checks. I don't know why it's easier on the console than here. I have a hard time here for some reason. Look at that. I was, I, I should have gotten that. I don't know why I didn't. Uh -huh. Go away, go away, go away. No! Damn it! <laughs> Stupid bitch. Why do they think about looking in there? I thought that takes a, that takes time away from them. Let me see if I can wiggle out because she's not moving. Oh, she's just going to drop me, okay. Oh, she's going to spit on me, that's great. What does it do when she spits on the machine? Does that mess it up too? No, I don't know about Galactus, dude. I think they're going to save that for later. Because it's going to be overkill if it's Kang and Galactus. And then even if they add Shimogorov too. That's going to be that's a lot of uh, bad guys. Thank you. Uh oh, shit. She's coming back. Where is she? I think the fact that she made me sick is going to signal her, so shit, I'm in trouble. Yeah, there she is. Let's see where she goes. Alright, let me try to see how much... That's not that bad. The coughing and stuff is going to probably signal her, but hopefully not for a while. No, I don't think so. I don't think for a while, and then maybe not even. Yeah, you're right. Maybe he might not even come at all, because they, they have to introduce the Fantastic Four first before they even think about Galactus. <laughs> Motherfucker! Great. I wish he'd stop coughing. It signals me. It signals that I'm around. 
And the lady's not taking her prisoners. Oh, I think I threw up there. It is a cool name, though. There we go. There we go. Finally. It took me several tries, but... And then I'm throwing up here. Let me find another generator. How do I get this? Oh, look, I, look, I look nasty. I look like a... That green stuff she threw up on me is nasty. And I'm throwing up, so that doesn't help me. Here's one. I must smell like shit. You know, on PS4 I started a new character uh, for the for GTA shit. I hear, and I got to four. I got to four million, so I'm gonna about to, I'm gonna get that sub so I could do heist with my old character, with my uh, I'm not with my old character with my PS4 character, my new PS4 character. I got lucky because with the Lamar missions and then with the with the bunker being double, even though I had to do it from Palito Bay, I was able to get to four million pretty quickly and level fifty two. Damn, did she throw up on all of us? We're all the same. We're actually doing good with the generators, though. There we go. Two more. But that, that throwing up's not helping us. I think that signals her where we are. So we gotta keep moving. Uh oh, I hear her. I see her. Ow, bitch. Why are you leaving us on the ground? That's probably why. I think there's only one. Yeah, only one of us is actually up. So this that person has to help us get up. Yeah, start with her and then make her make her rounds. Where's the killer at? Where's the nasty lady at? She's around. I just don't see her. Oh crap. Run, dude, run! Just run, just run! Break line of sight! Then come back! Oh shit. Well, that didn't work out. Okay, those two are up now, but she sees them. Crap. They're actually pretty smart in knocking us down and just leaving us there on the ground. Crap. But we're too close to each other. That's uh, up to me now. Crap. I gotta get one of them up. So this throwing up thing's not helping. I think that signals her. Where is she? If I could see, okay, she's picking up people, so let me go over here. Let me help out. Come here. Okay, let's help the other guy. Oh, crap. Run! Okay, let's see if we can help him out. If he's not camping, or she's not camping, actually. At least I was able to get two of them to get back up. She's around, so she's camping on this guy. Okay, I see her. She's chasing the other guy, though. Stop screaming. Control yourself. Oh, 
cheeks. Yeah, can't take both of us. What the hell? Here, you heal him. She's just standing there now. I wonder why. I'm just gonna go. If she chases me. No, she's not even chasing me. What the heck? Well, don't worry. I'm pretty sure they're coming up with other ways for us to spend money. You know, they're gonna probably start putting stuff on GTA Plus so that we have to get it. I bet that's their plan. Okay, here, I need to cure my sickness. There, now I don't stink. But she's around, shit. Where is she? Alright, she's not around anymore. Alright, let's find those two generators. Here's the door. Don't need it yet, though. Oh, here's a generator. Maybe 50% of GTA Plus for new members. <laughs> Imagine? Oh my god. I really hope a lot of people don't buy into that stuff. Because then that's just going to motivate them to do more crap like that. Oh, there. Somebody else got healed. Good. I think she's letting us. She could have easily just hung us all. Come on, come on. And we're near the door too, so where is it? It's right behind us. I just need to make sure I get these checks right. Ah, fuck. I had to fuck it up. Of course, as soon as I mention it, I fuck it up. I'll risk it. You know what surprises me, Ada? I know that people have that have over a billion dollars are buying it. And I'm like, are buying GTA Plus. I'm like, if you have that much money, what the hell do you need GTA Plus for? It is literally only for new people. Oh, shit. All right, hold on. Is this a door or not? Yeah, it is. And like, how much of a fanboy are you that you have to buy GTA Plus just because they're offering it? You don't need it. You don't need the car. You don't need the money. You don't need any of the clothes. You could just buy all that stuff. I don't understand that mentality. Yeah, this lady's letting us get away. See ya. Well, at least I got some points, so that'll help. Like, there's only one thing that would motivate me to buy GTA Plus, and that would be if they offered a... Uh, dedicated servers that's the only thing that could motivate me i can't think of anything else tell us what the baiting well tell is a moron so <laughs> i'm not surprised there they gotta think about it well have fun adot I'll, I'll 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 watch when you upload it but yeah, I mean, debate. what are you debating? He has a bunch of money too. Not as much as me, but he has enough money to buy everything that he needs. He doesn't need plus, but he's a moron. So it doesn't surprise me that he bought it or he was debating buying it. I don't know if he's bought it yet. But there's no reason for anybody who has any money granted in the game. Like if you have over a hundred million, you don't need GTA plus. Like I said, I can even debate for new players. There's no need to buy GTA plus. Because, look, I got Amazon Prime. I already get 100 k a week. That's almost as much as uh, 500 k that they're giving away for, for $6. I'm getting that for free. Just because I got Prime. Now, I'm going to... I'd have Prime anyway, so it doesn't matter. How to obliterate Big Show like a pro. <laughs> Go for it. Let me see if uh, 
Let me see if they've updated yet. I downloaded it, but let me check. No, not yet. How to protect pro like a pro. <laughs> I like to see. I have to see that. Where do you have it? On Discord? I'll check that out later. Oh, we're up against the Wraith. Like, I know some people did it just for the collectibles, for the unlocks. That you would have gotten, if, like, if you didn't get them when they were available, when you logged in, you didn't log in a certain week. I know people that bought it just to get those unlocks, which I don't know if they even did or not, because I don't, I don't remember what they offered as the unlock. But people did it just for that, because they're so into collecting everything in the game. They bought GTA Plus just for that. Wow, somebody already, <laughs> somebody's already hurt. That has to be a perk. Let's see. Let's find the generator. Man, it's really dark here. Where are the generators? Damn, I hate not having any perks because I can't tell where anything is. Like on, the, on my on my console character, I could tell the perk the perks have it where I could see these generators from afar. I know, right, Tom? But some of the lightweights are buying it though, unfortunately. Thankfully, not a lot. Thankfully, it's a minority. And I've gotten into arguments on Twitter of people defending it, like, no, Rockstar needs to make their money. No, they don't. They've made billions. How much more money do they need to squeeze out of their player base? How about fixing the stuff that's not working? How about that? Like, how about fixing God Mode? Yeah, I know. It's I know. I, I need to get that perk, but I don't have any blood points to spend. Like, I think in total I have, like, maybe 50,000 blood points. That's not enough. I need, to, I need to grind some blood points in this game so I could get decent with this guy. Like right now, I'm not carrying any perks at all or any offerings or nothing. So, this is as noob as noob get. This is as El Nubio as you get right here. Just have Lewis drop me some blood points. <laughs> you gotta ask him. Hey, but I'm still good at fixing those damn generators, though. It's a little slower, though, since I don't have that perk also for the generators, but. At least I can get it done. As long as, uh, as long as I pay attention and I get used to it. Because there is a little lag here on the PC that I noticed on, between the controller and the, and, the, and the console. Like some point where I, I'm supposed to get it and I don't get it. Okay, where's the next one? Nope. Where, is, where are the other generators at? I can't see them. It's, a, it's dark here. It's hard to see. Here we go. I haven't seen... Where's the monster? We haven't seen him at all. Ah, oh, crap. That's what I get for reading. I was about to read what you said, DJ. You use mouse and keyboard for this? Oh, okay. So maybe that's something I should consider, too. But I need to get an actual mouse and keyboard. I, I can't play it with the laptop called mouse and keyboard. I gotta get used to this lag. I can get used to it. I just gotta get. I just gotta play the game more. I'll eventually get used to it. I might not get great skill checks, but at least I'll get the good ones. The problem is when the checks are small. That's gonna be a problem. There we go. I think this monster is letting us uh, get away with stuff too, because I he is, he's a no show so far. Which is good for me, because I need those points. That one's fixed already. Is there one up there? I don't think so. There's another one. Okay. I just need one more.
Okay, here's one more. Oh, they almost have it fixed. There, let me get on the other side. Oh, come on! I had that one! Yeah, I know. I've noticed that too, TJ. They do that. Sometimes they join just for blood points too. Which is beneficial for all of us, especially me right now. I need those damn blood points. I got, I got next to nothing. Like, I, I should have taken advantage when they were giving them away. I was never planning to play any PC multiplayer games, but uh, I didn't think that would work. But they, it's working fine here. Like, Dead by Daylight at least works fine here. I haven't had any issues. Except for the control lag. That's the only thing. Is that the monster? No. What is that? <laughs> what character is that? On Steam, I have a 4 mil BP. Yeah, okay. I have, like I said, I think I had like 50,000 when I checked. I don't know how many I have now. I gotta check. Oh, I got an achievement. Nice. Iron 33 there. So I have 46 total. Wow, I'm not even close to 50. I thought I had 50. Right, there's still three people on there. Let me see. Let's see if I see we see the killer at all. We didn't I never saw the killer. Don't they at least have to like like hurt you and stuff to get the blood points for themselves? I don't know. I don't know how the I rarely play as the killer, so I don't know what they need to do to get blood points. Like, the other lady at least knocked us down and threw up on us, but then just let us go after that. God, wait a minute. Godmode has bunk Bunker has Godmode too? How's, uh, when did that happen? That killer's probably like hanging out in the basement. <laughs> They're just teabagging themselves. What the hell? Alright, I'll just continue. We don't need to see that. <laughs> They're just teabagging themselves. What's this? Oh, I'm happy with Dwight. Oh, that's Michaela. You found out about it when E and E came out? I am surprised that now there's a bunker god mode now. Jeez. It wasn't bad enough. It, it, I hope it's not as easy as the casino one is. I've seen how the casino one works. That one's easy as hell. I remember when I watched uh, when I was watching Nathan do it. It's so easy, but <laughs> I always found it funny because he always had a hard time doing it. <laughs> I miss making fun of that guy. He was funny. You need to change your game title, by the way. Well, it's, it says Dead by Daylight on the title. See, it says Simpsons Arcade, Day by Day, and GTA Update. What I do have to change is the the category. Let me change that. There's a Dead by Daylight mobile? I didn't know that. There we go. Oh, crap. You've seen Casino, but have you seen Agency? Oh my god, there's an Agency Godmo too? Jeez, can Rockstar get anything right when they introduce something new? That's a bit Godmo for everything they introduce? 
No, I've never seen anybody do the agency one. Stream Rainbow Six? Which one's the next Rainbow Six? Isn't that the mobile game? I don't want to stream a mobile game. That's like a mobile free-to-play game, isn't it? The next Rainbow Six game that they're releasing? Extraction? No, Extraction already came out. There's another one, isn't it? Wow, TJ. <laughs> I am not on the mobile. I just forgot to change the category. You're the one that told me to change the title when the game's already on the title. So you're a nubial, sir. All right, let's see. Mother's dwelling. Let's see if this killer is more aggressive. Oh, right next to one. Okay. Let me concentrate here. It's an all-platform game. Like, it's, is it up? But it's a... Well, if it's on all platforms, it can't be a mobile game. Oh, shit. That was close. I barely noticed it when I saw it. But it's a free-to-play game, right? You can just download it. Like Fortnite, right? I mean, I used to play the old-school um, Rainbow Six games. Like Rainbow Six Vegas and stuff. Those were good. I haven't played any of the newer ones. I didn't play Extraction or uh, any, of the old, any of the ones after... Uh, after the PS1, PS2 era. I'm about to fix it. I don't know yet what about the environment because I haven't seen, I haven't run into any other players yet. So I'm almost done with this one though. There we go. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's another one fixed. We might have another absentee killer. Though I hear, well, I was hearing something, but it's gone now. Let's find another generator. Go away, birds. There's one. Oh, shit. What the heck is that? Oh, someone's fixing it already. Okay. You got it for oh so you do buy it. Thirteen pounds, that's like what? Fifteen, twenty dollars? I'll take a look at it later, I'll see. I have like I said, I haven't played any oh crap, just screwed up. I haven't played a Rainbow Six game in a long time. If it's any good, I'll try it. I think, yeah, I think we have another absentee killer because nobody's here. Which is good for me. I'm just going to grind blood points. Let's see. What other generators can we fix around here? Here's one. PlayStation can only play with PlayStation 4 and 5. Of course, no cross gen play? That's messed up. Not with egg box? <laughs> Why do you call it egg box? I actually have my PS4 and my Series X right here in the office, but I'd have to connect an Elgato to the stream through it, and I think that's going to be too much. Ah, shit. I messed that one up. That was my bad. I'm not paying attention. I'm going to assume the killer's absent, so I'm going to assume he's not going to come after me. Oh, I fucked that up again. 
Here, Dwight, too. Get over here. Help me out. There's just this one more generator. Yeah, killer, killer full of sleep. He would have gotten those by now. What the heck? Are we both getting skill checks at the same time? How does that work? There we go. Oh. Alright, there we go. Alright, where is the exit now? I was just I'm just moving. I didn't pay attention where I was moving at. Oh here it is. Okay, good. I guess everybody's just uh just uh, grinding for them blood points. Sorry guys, that was an emergency. Uh, oh shoot, I dropped my headphone. Hold on. Uh, Alright, let's just continue. Fortunately, he's just a just a guy going crazy. He needs to he needs to get his psych meds. Well, at least for uh, for Rainbow Six, at least they can play with PS4 and PS5. Rockstar can't even do that for their uh, for their GTA game. So, so I have to make a separate account just to be able to still play with my PS4 friends. Which I'm thinking of recording now that I got the four million. I'm thinking of recording me getting that sub on the new character, I'm posting the video on it. It was really easy with this event week. Like I said, what I did was I just did I just did that one mission with Lamar, um, San Andreas Soul. Test tweeted. Okay, good. Um, let me can I cancel out. Let's go check it out. Thank you, Tope. How to get out of here? Wait. Yes, we'll come back later. Actually, no, I might I might end it after this. Let's see, because I, I I did get a, an emergency call. I don't like. Uh, let's see, let's just review what this is. Okay, so we got the new event week this week. Let's see, what is it? Uh, Control R. Yes. No. Oh, yes, yes it is. Okay. Let's see what we got this week. This this week was good. Let's see what we got. Podium Beagle. Podium Beagle or Sylvestra? Didn't we just have the Sylvestra in the Podium Beagle? Wasn't that just the same car we just had last week? It's 2027 and GTA 5 has been announced for PlayStation 6. Yeah, you know, that wouldn't surprise me in the least. 
I, I swear the podium vehicle, the Sylvester was just last week, wasn't it? I mean, I, didn't, I usually don't care about the podium vehicle, but uh, I'm pretty sure the Sylvester was last week's podium vehicle. The prize ride is a uh, How Could You Drag. That's actually a good bike. Top three in five pursuit races. That's not too hard. And the Arbiter GT for the HSW ride. Three times money in RP on associate and bodyguard salary. Uh, yeah, they're a week late on that one. They should have done that two weeks ago so that uh, this week, that the week before, they would have done the crate so people could have helped more. And three times money in RP on stunt races. Ooh, two times money in RP on VIP work. MC work and challenges. That's going to make DHC happy. He always likes to do MC work. VIP work, MC work, and challenges. So that's good. Wait, for VIP work, that also includes the challenges, right? The VIP challenges. I'm guessing that does as well. So that's actually pretty good. We're getting a, a, a second straight week. The Vestra 8 upgrade available at HSW. Well, I don't care about that. Let's see what the discounts are. 80% up bunker gun locker and shooting range. Uh, nightclub dancers and dry ice. Clubhouse mural, furniture option B, and office interiors and gun locker. Well, that's kind of uh, very specific. That's weird. That's a big discount, though. I mean, those aren't cheap. So that's actually good. 50% off the Comet Safari and the Comet SR. Uh, 45% off uh, 811 and the Segoy. I'm surprised that they're actually increasing the percentages. They used to be like 20, 25, 30. Now they're 80, 50, and 45. That's a little, that's a little better. Hold on. Oh my God, why would a patient in the hospital call the general number to talk to the doctor when the nurse can get the doctor for them? Ah, some people I don't understand. Okay, let me see. Be at work is challenges too good. Haven't seen those client jobs too. Nah, it, was, it, was, it wasn't that long ago. I do remember client jobs. Actually, no, not client jobs. You're right. It's been a long time since client was double. And I remember the first time I bought the laser was 60%. I remember that too. I think that's when I bought the laser too. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Uh, so 80, 50, and 45. Okay. The 80% one's the one that's all right. Cause all this stuff is actually expensive. I mean, you don't really need a bunk. Well, yeah, you can use a bunk. The shooting range is good to get stuff from it. Cause I know that's where you get your Molotovs from. Night cup dancers. That's not important. The dry ice is not that important. That's all. Hold on. I love it when calls are quick and to the point. Um, what was there? Off clubhouse mirror, not important. Furniture option B, I don't care. Office interior, maybe. And then for the gun locker in the office, yeah, it's heavy. But it's, it's a good discount, though. If you guys want to get 80%, it's good because those things are pricey. And we got one more. Let me see. 40% off the Panundra FF and 30% off the MLC. Like, it's not really worth it, then we'll see, because there's unless you're doing double emissions, but uh, that's not that doesn't happen in a while. I'm not gonna get an MLC on my, new, on my new character. Like the only thing I'm interested in my new character is getting the sub and getting the arcade. That's it. And anything I do after that is just gonna continue off to my old character on PS5. <coughs> this event week is actually good. Back to back of good event weeks. Uh, I could already see DHC doing a uh, uh, MC work. Uh, an MC work stream because he's that's his favorite. I think over VIP. I've, I don't I don't think I've ever seen these two together. I've never seen VIP and MC work done together, like on the same one. Yeah, uh, yeah. That the you're right. Eight out for the thirty sticky bumps. So that that is worth it too. I know you also get your Molotovs there too. So, um, but yeah, you, I need to open that up for my character just to get the Molotov and the and the sticky bomb. I might get the agency too on my on my other character just so I could do pay for hits because that's what pays best. But um, this is actually good. Like uh, the three times money in RP doesn't matter. I mean, who cares? Uh, well, when we do VIP work, actually, that'll that'll be good. But if we do multi, if there's a multiplayer stream, if I stream on Monday, I'm hoping maybe some of you guys are available. We could do VIP. We just do back to back VIP work and grind, grind some money. Whoever needs it. Now the question is, should I do it on PS4 or PS5? 
Uh, I'm thinking a majority of you have already upgraded to PS5. I know, Tob, you haven't. Um, I don't know. I'm going to think about that. I got till Monday, so I'll think about what system I'm going to use. Well, actually, it's going to be the PS5 either way because I can play it on either or. But what, which one is going to be like the PS4 version or the PS5 version? Uh, but uh, speedrun stream? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, get to a million. If I do that, then it would definitely be on the PS5 one. And just doing it with people would be fun. So yeah, this is a good event week. I, I don't have any problem with this event week. It's pretty good. The discounts are decent for once. They're not cheap-ass 20% ones. They're actually good. I don't know if they need, these cars are any good, but at least they're 50% off. Uh, and there's 45% off the 811 the Segoy. I think that Sukhoi is like the Honda the Honda car, I think. I, I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not a car guy. And then with the but I like this week. It's good. I mean it's not a lot. If you notice they're doing less and less. Like I don't see any businesses discounted. I don't see any properties discounted because they're adding stuff into um plus. So they're gonna re even though they say that these things aren't gonna change, they're lying. That they're they're gonna start. They're gonna start. Out, they're gonna add stuff to plus. So the weekly ones aren't gonna have as much as they used to. I remember Tez used to have four pages long worth of stuff, like and right here he barely has three, and the third one's just two things. So I remember Tez used to put four pages worth of stuff in here. So they're re they actually are reducing the number of stuff they put on their weekly events because they're gonna add stuff to the VIP, the the VIP, the GTA Plus thing, and that's unfortunate. Wait for the agency to go on sale. Oh yeah, I always wait for the agency. I always wait for stuff to go on sale. I don't. The only thing I'm gonna buy that's not on sale is the sub. Even for the arcade, I might wait for a sale unless they put unless they do something for the the casino heist. I, I'm gonna wait on the arcade to buy on sale, but I'm not gonna buy anything until it goes on sale. Um, but <laughs> the problem made out is I think they're gonna put that stuff. On GTA Plus for sale. I bet the properties are going to be on GTA Plus and not on the regular event week. But we'll see. Because right now, I think this is the third week in a row where we don't get a property discount. Uh, I mean, the, I mean, no, that's 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 not true. The last week we did have the apartments. But come on, who doesn't have an apartment now these days? And they're cheap already. The exp most expensive one's a million dollars. That's not a lot of money these days. And it was what thirty percent off, so maybe like eight hundred, seven hundred dollars, seven hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, it's it's whatever. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here um, since we already did this already. This is what I wanted to read. So thank you guys for watching. Take care. Uh, I'll see you guys on Monday. On Monday, for sure, I will stream console. Like I said, we might do this VIP work if I can get enough people on. If not, I can do it on my own. It's fine. But we'll see what we do. So thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll see you on Monday. Take care.